Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look at Airfix Battles, the introductory war game, uh, something I just learned about recently. I've um, heard of Airfix before. They make miniatures uh, for uh, various war periods, and uh, this is their introductory, obviously, World War II uh, war game, uh, Germans and uh, Americans, by Modifius Entertainment, who made uh, the um, Thunderbirds uh, board game, which is really good. Um, to look at the back. So the way the game is designed is uh, you can use plastic soldiers with this on the map uh, or it comes with counters. So everything you need is included in the box, but uh, you can actually, uh, you know, switch this to a miniatures uh, board game. So let's open it up, see what you get inside. I got rules for figures as well. So this is player with playable with your airfix figures and vehicles. Recruit your army using force card deck. Draw cards. Select the ones you need to build a powerful army to challenge your friends. It is uh, suitable for one to four players, which I like. Uh, simple at ten and up. Plays in an hour to a half hour. According to the marketing people, anyway. All right. Nice little kind of a flat box. Decent size though. A little over a foot. About nine inches. Barely over an inch in depth, so. Good here. Good artwork. Love that artwork. Alright, so what we get inside is some dice. Smaller dice. Um, 12 millimeter, maybe. Um, and there's five green and five dark green. Just remember for the two different sides. Interesting that they didn't go with gray and green. Got a mini deck of command cards. These are your ba basic orders. Um, so I can read from one side, so we'll just go ahead and pop them open. I'm a big fan of mini cards, since I don't have mini hands. They make them hard to hold, but uh, I guess they're all, these are all your basic order of cards. So these are what you're going to use to actually uh, control your action. There's some red ones in here. Counterintelligence cards. Interrupt. I guess as you play is defensive or you know to cancel another action. Uh, smooth, smooth texture, not linen, but that's fine. Again, I'm not really a fan of linen unless you're going to sleeve them. And then what's the point of the linen finish if you're going to sleeve them? Uh, these tend to not shuffle very well. Uh, these are the force cards, which I guess give the stats for the various forces on both sides. All right, we had a little technical difficulties there, so we're gonna go back through the uh, starting with the cards. Um, so you get the uh, uh, various um, squad cards. Usually the, the technical details of your guys are gonna be on the uh, on the table. So like an infantry squad here is 10, 10 men with two bazookas, uh, various this is their movement factor, maybe their attack. Uh, of course, you know when you read the rules. So, uh, you got green for infantry uh, or uh, field units, and you got the uh, commanders are orange, and uh, vehicles are red. And the observers, well, you got some that are purple because a sergeant. Uh, maybe they're not officers enlisted, uh, veterans. So, anyway, I'm sure it's all going to come in, into play, but the axis. Uh, the axis and allies use the same colors. So, deck cards, with command cards, the rule book, uh, very nice glossy, uh, 24 pages. Um, this is all the rules. These scenarios are in a different book. So, not too small print, not too big print. 
So see what the options are there for uh, for learning. Um, but then you get to the scenario set up around page 12. So it looks like there's just probably, a, uh, in fact, on page 11, you now know everything you need to play scenario one. So let's get there. Now, like I said, I've already gone through this. Uh, the camera stopped recording, so I'm going back through it again. But uh, I did not punch these. Um, may have had to do with the shipping, but uh, they're very loose in the sprue, the cardboard sprue, which is fine. It's got a lot of nice little counters. These are terrain. This is a damaged barn. Um, got objectives. This is the backside. You've got these uh, markers for if you're playing with miniatures and you have them on bases where you have multiple units per base, then you would apply the wound markers. But if you're playing with the cardboard counters, you'll be able to just use the direct unit counters. For that, you get three sheets of these. Like I said, they come apart very easily. Come right out. Pretty decent quality. Um, I mean, not as thick as some of the current current uh, games we've got, like Old School Tactical and uh, the uh, re-release of the Heroes, the Lock and Load series. But they're still pretty good. I mean, they don't, even though as a whole they kind of flex, the counters themselves seem okay. So I don't see any issues with that. So you have three sheets of those. Uh, obviously different things you can put on the map to indicate it's rough terrain. Um, Artillery guns, walls, and then we'll get to the maps here. There's two of these, they're double sided. Uh, and then also we have there's the third counters. We have a scenario book, there's 10 scenarios, uh, an ad for Thunderbirds, and a reference sheet that you'll probably be looking at most of the time. So we'll put that back in. We're going to open up on these maps. They're uh, Four, eight and a half by 11, so about 17 by 22 in size. Definitely crease, so you'll need a plexi. Nice little uh, checkpoint, fields, craters, roads, crossroads. And there's two of these, and they probably go to the other one, different kind of combinations for the different scenarios. But nice artwork. Grid it off in the squares one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by five. Definitely the miniatures sizing scale. So that is what you get in the Airfix uh, Battles game. Uh, pretty basic. I mean, everything you need to play. Obviously, you want to add the miniatures yourself um, to, uh, to get if you wanted to add that. Uh, the visual feel. I personally prefer counters. I think they just work out a lot better. Um, but looks fun. Looks like a good system. And it's soloable. So I'll be giving that a try and uh, reporting back. Thanks for watching.